And finally, step nine, connect all of these steps together and run your code. Okay. Right, okay. So the next thing is, go right to the top of the class, okay, right in here, and make sure you declare another global feed of the adapter class, okay, so movie adapter. Let's now go to the onCreate method and assign the movie adapter. But before that, let's first find the recycle view. So just click R and you get the small lowercase r and you get the full name equal to find view by id r dot id dot recycle view and let's now assign this so the movie adapter equal to new movie adapter right and to connect everything let's add this code in here. So first of all, we are going to call our method, which is set sample data, which is this one, as you can see in here. Okay. The next thing is, and to improve performance, call this method set has fixed size on the recycled view object. Then create a linear layout manager object, and set that to the recycled view again. You can create an animator for the recycled view, and you can even add a divider line between the rows. I will, see, I will show you what that does in just a second and call the uh, finally make sure you set the adapter the recycle view now before we forget we must go to this set sample data right to the end and somewhere in here movie adapter and call the notify data set change method okay and now my friends I believe we are ready to test so let's test this let's run that as you can see it's now running installing and launching the activity here we are wow yahoo okay it works which is fantastic by the way okay but as you can see it needs some work the text sizes are way too big and we need to change some colors and many many other things okay so let's go to back to the to this layout file in here and for this and this is by the way just a trial and error thing so uh, instead of 24 uh, we'll try I would say 18 the second thing is for the movie genre instead of 22 let's try 16 how is that okay for the movie here let's try instead of 18 no, well, let's have 16 as well, and also I don't like the color of it, of it, so let's change Instead of the color primary thing, let's see if we have a green. Okay, there we are We do actually have a green and by the way all these colors should really be defined and created in the colors file Which is a file located in the values folder, which is a subfolder of the resources folder. What would you do if you would like to create a new color? Well, basically, just duplicate this line using Command D or Control D. Okay, go to here, select the color that you'd like. Let's say I'd like to have yellow, for example. I don't know, is that yellow? Maybe not. Okay, this this is yellow. Maybe I don't know. The hexadecimal value has been changed, and obviously you would have to change the name as well. Yellow, for example. Okay, and so you can now call this color and use it using this name so if we go back to the uh, our layout file if we search color in here we can find the yellow see but I don't want the yellow I'd like to have the green okay so let's rerun our nice little program let's see what happens let's see if it's now better okay it's much much better okay so I don't really like the fact that this thing is now right to the top these are aligned to the top of each row as you can see in here all of them yeah so let's take them a bit down so I know that the height of the image is 120 and so for the image name let's have a top margin Let's search for margin top and let's have about 40 that uh, looks like the middle I don't know maybe let's have 35 actually let's not overdo it and this is again a try and error approach 
Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. I think that will definitely fix that problem. Yep, there we are. Great. And as you can see, they are not really... They are towards the middle of the picture, which is something that I personally like. You can obviously use whatever you like. Okay.